मूविंग बेड बायोफिल्म रिएक्टर और एम बी बी आर फॉर बेस वाटर ट्रीटमेंट दिस इज द स्कमेटिक डायग्राम ऑफ एम बी बी आर टैंक दिस प्रोसेस कंसिस्ट ऑफ एडिंग स्मॉल सिलेंड्रिकल शिप वॉलीथाइल इन कैरियर एलिमेंट विच हैज स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इन एयरेटेड और नॉन एयरेटेड बेसिन टू सपोर्ट बायोफिल्म ग्रोथ द स्मॉल सिलेंडर्स आर अबाउट 10 mm in diameter and 7 mm in height with cross inside the cylinder and longitudinal fins on the outside the biofilm carrier are maintained in the reactor by the use of perforated plates at the tank outlet air agitator air agitation or mixture are applied in a manner to continuously circulate the packing the packing may fill 25% to 20, 25 20 to 20 to 50% of the tank volume the specific surface area of packing is about 500 meter square per meter cube of burp packing volume this surface area is also depend on the specification of the provider the mbbr does not require any return activated sludge flow or backwashing a final clarifier is used to settle slotted liquid so, slotted slogged solid the mbbr process provides an advantage for plant upgrading by reducing the solid loading on existing clarifier the presence of packing material discourages the use of more efficient fine bubble aerator equipment which would require periodically drainage periodic drainage of aeration and removal of packing for diffuser cleaning in this second picture it is showing the structure of media so the plastic biofilm carrier of unique design are used in mbbr for maximizing the active biofilm surface area in the reactor the moving bed biofilm reactor was developed in norway in late 1980s it is successful technology worldwide for treatment of municipal and industrial waste water in addition mbbr have been successfully used for biological treatment of drinking water a moving bed biofilm reactor consists of a tank with submerged but floating plastic media having a specific gravity less than 1 as we have seen earlier in the schematic diagram the large surface area of plastic provide abundant surface for bacterial growth This, these are the images of various type of bio carrier used in MBBR tank. So, because of these structures, the biofilm are attached on this structure, and then it provides higher surface area in lower space. Medium or coarse bubble diffuser. uniformly placed at bottom of reactor maintains a dissolved oxygen concentration greater than 2.5 to 3 ppm for bod removal still high do concentration are maintained for nitrification biomass grows on surface as a thin film whose thickness usually varies between 500 to 300 micron is individual bio carrier increases productivity through providing protected surface area to support the growth of heterotrophic and autotrophic bacteria within its cell it is this high density population of bacteria that achieves high rate of biodegradation within the system while also offering the process reliability and ease of operation to retain the media flowing out of the tank screen are placed on the downstream wall a clarifier is placed downstream of the mbbr tank to separate the biomass and the solid from the wastewater 
no sludge recycle is required for this process. For denitrification, anoxic MBBR tank are used. The anoxic tank is similar to aerobic MBBR tank described above except that no oxygen is supplied. The denitrification tank contains no diffuser and the media is kept in suspension in the reactor through submersible mixture. Other feature such as screen is same as aerobic reactor although the design may be slightly different. So advantage of MBBR tank are is its compact plant because it consumes 50% of area required for activated sludge process. It employs a specially designed and fabricated plastic neutrally bioent media which remains in suspension and in moving stage. Biofilm grows protected within engineered plastic carrier. Media life is long which is around 10 to 15 years. So there is no media replacement is required for 10 to 15 years. High loading conditions are, can be tackled without any problem of clogging. So no new construction is required, suitable for both industrial and municipal wastewater. These are the various references from where I have included all the text and everything of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment below. Thank you.